actually moved to my mother's place it feels weirdly really good like kind of like in a way i was like 50 50 like am i gonna enjoy this moving to mouse and like but i feel i feel so at home here like everything is so calm like it's not in the city like i used to live in the city now it's like a little further out so i'm like i have like trees and stuff but it just feels so good <laughs> i'm not sponsored by nike why does this look so sponsored <laughs> When I started playing music, I was always that kid who like bought and sold guitars. So I was like, I, I bought a guitar and then I always sold it after like a couple of months. So I would buy a guitar and then I would like feel like it's, this is the best guitar I've ever had. And then two months would go past and I'd be like, nah, I don't want it anymore. So I would like switch it up. I always got that rush of like switching instrument. Like maybe this one will make me the best guitar player ever. It's my guitar. It's my pick. It's my strings. Like I always had that like mindset. I remember going to a music store when I was a kid. When I say a kid, I, I was like 18, <laughs> like 17, 18. But like, so I remember going to the music store with my Stratocaster and I was like, not really happy with it. I mean, technically there was nothing wrong with it. Like, let's be honest, there was nothing wrong with it. I just went to the music store with it just to like switch the frets. I, I think it was something like that. I, I don't really remember, but it was like, yeah, I want to switch the frets. And the guy was like, it was like, a, you know, those like the old guy guys working at music stores that are like tired they've been working there like for 15 years they're like really tired he was actually kind of disrespectful which is kind of funny like i was like i want to switch the frets he took a look at the guitar and he was like it looks like you need to practice more he said that to my eyes like it looks like you need to practice more it looks like you need to put in the work i was like oh you know i got like because I was like really that kind of shy kid. I was I, I I wasn't like strong mentally. I wouldn't like say anything back. I was like, uh, okay, whatever you say. <laughs> like I was really that kind of kid. I remember going home and being so angry. I would be so angry. Like I would think of him like I fucking hate that guy. I would want to like tear his head. Like I I got so angry and that was like. I mean, that's not a good sign, but like, I was so angry at him because he kind of disrespected me and I, I identified with playing music. So that was like really, that, that really hurt me <laughs> when I think back at it. Let's be honest, he was like a sad old man. Like he wasn't really that happy. You could see that in his face. He was like sad, like just standing there, like switching strings. The thing he said to me, it kind of like traumatized me in a way because I don't, I, I felt as if though it was like a traumatizing thing because I, th I couldn't stop thinking about it. It kind of like ruined my mental health. But like in retrospect, he's, he was actually right. He was actually right. He was so right. Switching the frets wouldn't do anything. <laughs> Like literally, the switching the frets wouldn't make me a better guitarist. Switching the frets wouldn't like give me any happiness. Like if we're thinking about like what brings us happiness, would that bring me happiness? Maybe for 20 seconds, but then I want to find the next thing, you know? I mean, it wasn't like he was thinking in this like kind of self-development way. He was more like a sad, but I'm really grateful that he said that to me. I'm really grateful that he made me feel bad about myself. I'm really grateful that he kind of made me like really sad and like angry. The frustration I had for like not being at that like skill level that I want to be at. And I, it always, it got me down to earth with like the feeling of like, it's not about the gear, you know, it's not about playing with a specific guitar it's not about the strings it's not about the frets it's not about the pick you use it's like it's not about those things like when when i realized that i was like shit and that i re kind of i feel like i realized that like not even two years ago like one year ago when i started playing with this guy when i started embracing the sound of the guitar like embracing the actual like notes that come out of the amp like without any like 
color of it like i'm not saying don't use reverb don't you like you should use the stuff that you identify with you should use the effects pedals that makes the sounds that you want to create that you hear in your head right but i feel like i use so many effects i use so many different kind of like stuff for me the way i played got like censored by the effects pedals in a way so the best thing i did was actually stop using pedals and like actually just playing what i heard and that was what was gonna come out you know what i'm saying the thing i play will literally be what you hear from the amp because it's not colored by anything and when i realized that i was like i don't need anything like i literally don't need anything i just need my guitar some strings on the guitar and like an amp and that was like the most freeing feeling ever in my life. I'm not sitting here preaching about how you should go about playing music because it's literally personal. And this was like a personal experience for me. I was like that guy who played with effects pedals and like, that wasn't me. Like, I'm not saying that I, I can still enjoy playing with pedals and like, I still do it. I feel like my sound is what comes out of my fingers because it's what I hear in my head. And it not being colored by any pedals or anything, I feel like that's the way I want to sound. And I'm not saying you, should, you shouldn't fix your frets and like, why Armin, why, why I, I still need to like fix my frets because like, of course, if you have to fix your frets, if you have to like, like if you have to like do a setup on your guitar, like because it's, it's not playable, like yeah, of course do it. I want to do it too because it's like, but at this point, I'm like not really tied to that materialistic kind of view on it. Let's be honest, you buy pedals and you just buy stuff because you feel like it's going to give you happiness. That's the wrong thing. Like, I'm not buying anything to be like, yeah, um, this will make me better at guitar. Like, I'm not going to go to like a guitar store and ask them to do a setup on my guitar just so I can be better at guitar. It just so it makes the way I play easier because I will hear stuff and the things would come out easier. I think that's the mentality you should have. You should always strive for how can I get the sound that I want from the guitar or actually... The thing you should do if you're going to buy something or if you're going to spend money on gear or a guitar or like you're going to do this or that. Always think about why you're doing it. Like always think about is this like a materialistic kind of thing? Is this like something that you think will bring you some happiness? Like, oh, this will make me feel so good because then I will sound like that and that guy would accept me. Like finally that that drummer over there or that bass player would finally think that I'm worthy of love from them. If that's what you think, then you have to do some inner work. Like then you should start like working with yourself. Don't buy anything because it will never get better. Once you've bought that pedal, you will feel like you want to buy the next pedal because you didn't get that love. You, like you feel like you wanna, you're getting that validation and you might get it for like 10 seconds and then you will be back to getting more validation. Stop doing that. Start like embracing, like start embracing self-improvement. Start like realizing that those needs for external like things and like like oh i have to buy that pedal uh like that's not healthy that's not healthy it's not healthy for anything because you just spend money on on stuff that you actually don't need to do this i promise you you don't need that to be happy like it literally has nothing to do with your happiness your goal is to play for an audience do you think your audience knows if you play with that e ibanese eq pedal like do you think anybody notices except for yourself because it kind of fills that void inside of you like literally it's it's i know it, you kind of i know you're probably like but you don't know what you're talking about i love pedals it's my sound like yeah but if you if you feel like you just have to go buy the next thing and you have to go like do this and like spend so much money on guitars and like i had to get that most expensive i don't think you're happy with yourself i'm, I'm not getting not i'm not even kidding you're not happy like it's not about that it's not about having, like, I remember I wanted to have, like, that most expensive jazz guitar because that would make me happy, like, a Benedetto. And I was, like, thinking, actually thinking about spending, like, $7,000. That's just sad. That's, like, you don't need, you don't need to spend so much money to do this music. Like, this, this guitar literally cost me $700, $800. That's nothing. I mean, this is what I, literally, what I identify me with. But that doesn't make me imply to like, yeah, I have to buy something that's like $8,000 or like, and I'm not saying you shouldn't like spend money on your instrument. I, I actually think that's a really good idea, but you have to start thinking about why you do certain things. Like, why are you so implied to buy that new pedal? Why do you want to buy that? Why do you want to sound like that all of a sudden? Like most of the time, 
it's because you're not like you kind of crave a validation from others. You kind of crave that feeling of like being loved. And that's like something that you have to work with, with which comes from meditation, gratitude journaling and just like starting to like exercise. And I've never been so happy with playing music either. Like I literally enjoy playing music and I literally have no problems like playing wrong notes or like playing anything that's, that doesn't sound good. And I don't have that feeling of like, oh, the amp doesn't sound good. I literally have no problem with it. Like I will, I will kind of find a way to make it work. And that's mostly because I just kind of change stuff up in my self image. And that's what I want for you too. So stop, stop buying stuff you don't really need and start actually working on the stuff inside of you that kind of tells you, you have to do certain things. Like you have to buy that thing because you will start making better music. That's kind of what I have, what I had to say today. I love making these videos. So if you, if you actually enjoyed this, can you like do me a favor and like comment something? Like you don't even have to subscribe. And like, I'm not like, you know, everybody asks for likes and subscribers. I actually just want you to comment because I, I like people engaging with each other. Like I, I learned so much things from you guys. So I just, uh, I uh, really love to like build this community up, which you can also s join the discord and that would be like the best thing ever because then we can build up a community of like guitar players who want to improve themselves. Stop buying pedals and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.